Because when you don't know what to do, that's darkness. Lack of knowledge. <laughs> Let us try to look at light as revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ or God. John chapter 1 verse 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. It actually describes light. So what do you people see in that scripture? He was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light was the sight of men. Ah. Beautiful. Because if light is sight, read it from that perspective. In him was the life. What is that life? God. In him was God. The life of God was in him. And that life was the sight. It, it made people to see God. He is the revelation of God. He was manifesting God. In him was God, the life, and the life was the sight to see God. To see the life of God. I said <laughs> Because the way you just read it, you are ready to go forward. I said, are you put it in the table? I'm just sure these people saw it though. <laughs> John chapter 9, verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the sight of the world. Wow. You got it? Ah. Sight, sight of the world to see who? God. Ah. But before he left, he said, who is the light of the world now? Oh, ah! the of the earth. To reveal who? God. God. You are the revealer of God. <laughs> so it's like, as long as I'm in the world, I am the sight of the world. People look at me and they see God. What Jesus was really saying was, I am a revelation of God. I'm the revelation of God, yes. I am a conversion of the invisible Dribble God to so the visible. Bashaka bakudu kudu kudu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Light is a very important term. And that's what we are going to be talking about tonight. And that's why I'm say, telling you, get ready. Make sure you rest. Or you take your vitamin or anything you want to do. But you must be at, <laughs> <laughs> but you must be at a lot. By the way, do we, uh, where are the candies? Do they, do they have cookies? Because they might need their chocolate to keep themselves away. <laughs> Make sure you have cookies 24 hours here yeah, for them. Okay, go ahead. Light is a revelatory um, term. Light reveals things that are unseen. The unfolding of your words gives light. The revelation of your word gives light. Uh -huh. It gives understanding to the same. That is Psalm 119 verse 130. I'm sure many of you are people have read that before. Yeah. The revelation of your words gives light. But for what? Sight. 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 <laughs> That's why the only reason you should be reading the Bible is to see. Yeah. To see God, how he does things. To see what he likes. To see what he doesn't like. To see how he looks. To see how, what is in heaven, what is in the kingdom of God, and to be able to see what you was convert to yourself, to your person, and to your world. Okay? <laughs> when the light is turned on, a person can see what is in the room with them. You see? That's why it's a light. Whereas, 
prior to the light, they, are, they were ignorant of what was standing right in front of them. That's the function of light. And that whenever you read the Bible or pray, that is for sight. Okay. Einstein's laws of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. <laughs> it can only be converted. Say that again. Energy <laughs> cannot be created or destroyed. <laughs> it can only be converted. So it's light energy or not? Ah. 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 Now you are getting it. Two. Ah. Hmm. Well, don't let me don't let me cause you trouble but right now. Let, let's just be going the way we are going. It is in the evening I prepared the trouble for. <laughs> <laughs> if sp sped up fast enough, physical product. No, no, no. This one is already too much for it. Like, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll do all this in the evening. You see? Whoa. You see? Whoa. You see? You see? Wow. Yeah, so I'm going, to, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. No, no, yeah, this one, yeah, yeah. I don't want to give it. I ah, don't, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Don't let me cause you trouble. Don't let me cause you trouble. Ah, no, I think well, let's, let's deliberate on the one we already had. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go and that. <laughs> Make you go sleep and wake up first. Uh -huh. I told you, you need your chocolate, your vitamin, and your sleep. Yeah, before tonight. Uh -huh. uh, so, because there are 200 slides here still. Uh, I think I've only done about 30. So, uh, we have. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I want to hear your feedback from these sessions so far right now. Yeah, please. Uh, Maria, give it to Maria. Don't get up now. Don't get up. I mean, maybe if getting up is keeping him alert. Pastor? Yes. I'm going to talk about hope. Is it um, yes. faith, hope, and, and love? And love. Yes. yes. I'm going to give an illustration like yes. what you were teaching, what was coming running to my mind is just yes, like the man that give, uh, pregnant the wife. Yeah. Then, then, you know, in there you see hope that is faith that she want to pregnant her. Then hope that you will see conversion also through yes. the baby. Yes. Yes. Hope. That yes. you're going to deliver. Then when you I give birth to that child now, you begin to happy and love. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful illustration. Beautiful illustration. <laughs> to me, you just taught us how to convert faith, how to convert hope, how to convert love. It's like you just gave us a practical way in our everyday life of how we can truly be Christians. Be Christians. Be believers. Convert hope, love. I mean, it's, it's and just the same way you can convert every other thing you read in the yes. Bible yes. into your business, into life, into everything you read in the Bible every day. I use a life experience. Yes. I have a shop in Nigeria. It's a, it's a sewing shop. I desire so much to have one. I desire so much to have one, but I don't know how to go about it. I don't have money. Mm. So what I did, I used a pen and paper. I wrote down everything I needed. First the shop, the scissors to the tiniest thing that I needed. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing the shop. I went out to make inquiry about where to get the shop. But that's how I was just saying it, seeing it. Lo and behold, one day. And whatever you see, you must convert to yeah. paper, yeah. writing. Yes. Right. And, and put in clear... Picture before, you. picture before you. It must make it 
write down what you have said. Yeah. I went out to see other people shop. And then when you share it with others, it been keep with other people see, then they could bring in resources to be able to do. That's how you make things from invisible to become visible. I shared it to somebody. The person had money one day and told me, can I open the shop for you? You see? And that's how I got the shop. I had experience. You have just, what you are saying right now is just a physical illustration of what it means to make something from nothing. Yes. I have uh, uh, a message in the YouTube, I think, on under faith, how to create nothing from nothing. Yes. That is the basic testimony, but there is principles there. Yes. And that is the whole thing. The most important thing is that you... Either through well, work with God, I mean, by praying, yes. you have to see something, a picture or idea in your mind. Mm -hmm. That idea has to grow into a picture. Mm -hmm. So you need to know what you want first. That's the idea. Yes, yes, yes. I, how do you get the idea? It could be inspired by God. It could be by true reading. It could through, by looking inside yourself yes, yes. through what you need, to your what you like, through what it could be different ways. So you get the idea. That idea must be developed into pictures. And for the picture to be clearer, for you to know exactly what you need knowledge, you need yes. more light, you read, you see, you do, you do research, you investigate. So you can now commit it to paper and be able to make it clear. Once that is done, that is you have done the action one, where you have started the action by doing that, you have seen the vision, the yeah. uh, sight, you've done the action. But then you have to the perseverance, the hope yes. is actually keep on working on it. Yeah. You have not just to perfect the picture itself, but working on it to push it. To push it to people, to tell people about it, to share it, you know, that's the, that's the character, the perseverance, the endurance, as of, and people will be hearing, but many people will hear, they will not respond. Yes. That's the perseverance. But it's not the first person you talk to. You might write to 200 people. You might need to write to 2,000 people before the, it will click in the heart of another person. Yes, yes sir. The, that is the perseverance something. But one day, because you have done you have paid, you have done what you needed to do, one day somebody will respond. Mm -hmm. And that's what somebody because anytime God gives you an idea for anything, yeah. he has already deposited the resources to bring it out in the hand of another person. Yes. Oh. <laughs> because that is why God is Alpha and Omega. Yes. The two things go together. The idea and implementation. He releases the two at a time. Ah. <laughs> So as he's giving you the idea, he's giving the resources to somebody. But that's why you must go out and speak and pronounce and yes. walk and do the footwork so that you'll be able to find the person who, because it will just click in his own heart as well. That's what yes. we are calling destinies of the destiny helpers. Destiny helpers. Oh, but, but that is what you do in business. You know, when you develop your business plan and things like that, then you call them sponsors or philanthropists or... <laughs> Bible. This is just Bible. This is Bible. That's been practical. That's been breaking down to your own life. Reality. Reality. We are just reading it and uh, <laughs> spiritualizing it. Spiritualizing everything. Oh my God. What what she was saying reminded me of what happened yesterday uh, with Christina. She she said she 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 she, 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 she did not worried about the money. Mm. And then when we mm. were there oh, talk, when we were there t talking, and then brother Prince, God inspired him to to to, to give, sow to sow yeah. And from nowhere, everybody I don't know how much was raised. Yeah, yes, wow. Money just so started flowing. <laughs> <laughs> Because, but if you had waited for the money to come first, yeah. Yeah, yes. you would know that. Yeah. Yeah, see. Okay. But you need to do your part. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Pastor Sunday, in short, I don't know how to put this. You just made us, I think, made me to understand how I can walk in this earth. As God. Because every scripture you raise up here minister a different thing altogether from what we hear. Yes. Day and night. It has never been the idea before. 
So what is church doing then? Is a sidon? Yes. Yes. It seems to me now that uh, what you are saying now is everything that the apost the disciples did not know mm. that Paul got to understand. Mm. Yes. 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 Because if yes. you're reading all of Paul's letter, you'll be seeing yes. something like, "I pray that the uh, uh, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, enlightened, that you may know the hope." Oh. <laughs> You're reading the letter to the Romans, and he's saying that if your eyes is unwell, yes. your whole body, your whole body, he says, if the light you think you have is is darkness, how great is that darkness? <laughs> And you are not just saying this, that the old idea of knowledge is just yes. to know. You are saying it's to see. And you are bringing it back to, to see not what, but who. And if you have been listening to DSA, DSA will tell you that anyone who is always focusing on what is a pagan. That's why... On who? On, on who is a pagan. Yeah. But now when you're focusing on who and the who is God. Gwaha, yes. That is that's when the real thing. Hmm. That's that's when you have that's the when you begin to leave. Because it is now that you focus on who and you see who, and that's why Corinthians says, as you behold as in a glass the glory of God. Mm. We you become. See, you see, mm. you see, and then you become the yes. same image that you see. <laughs> so you are transformed by that same spirit that went in the beginning to to to, to survey, to create. So, so that spirit so over, is over the... turning you to what you are now seeing. It's creating you. Because he had created you before you got to see. So you see that creation is taking Conviction. place again just because you can see. Because there's an illumination. Yes. And have you ever wondered why? That for everybody who has gotten the new dimension to life, they say now he has been illuminated. Yes. yes. There's a gland in the human body till today is still the the almost the most under researched. It's called the pineal gland. <laughs> the pineal gland is noted to be the third eye. According to some things I've read, it's as though it's been suppressed. There may be conspiracy theories, but then this thing is what regulates sleep through the secretion of melatonin. Wow. Yes. Now, are there, the whole idea is that physically there's a theorem. And when you look theory. at melatonin, you see cross inside yes. it. Yes. yes. There's a the theory the that cross. if the pineal gland can be activated, the man will know more. Yeah. Yep. So because it I mean, is, that's just because, because it is made of light. Yes. Yeah. Because light. it's light this is darkness. Ha! <laughs> light and darkness. Melatonin. Uh, yes. So what you just said is you've just brought. You've just brought a living being out of what is or what used to be the letters. Thank you, dear. And that is what Eze meant. That is what Eze was saying. That it just makes me to feel like God now. I can duplicate God yes. now. But that's what Christianity is supposed to all be about. To make us to be able to duplicate God. That's what Jesus did. And he was our example. He's our firstborn brother. He's the example to the brethren. So that we will live like him. And what is his life? He lived the life of God on the earth. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes um, this is mind blowing. Uh, to me it's a mind shift. Um, um, hope, love, and faith is, used to be another word. Religious word. <laughs> now, you know, I can see that it's meant to be converted. Mm. And as a history maker, um, the place of prayer is also very important. Yes. Um, coming from where we are coming from, <laughs> in the Nigerian <laughs> culture, um, we learn that you pray so that God will do. Yeah. Mm. We pray so that God will do. Mm. And that is how the we pray. Misconception. 
So we go that, to that we is pray. paganistic prayer. We pray for our needs, you know, for God to do. And when you go to church too, we still pray for the same thing. But now it's a mind shift because you know the reason or the purpose for prayer, like I listen to you and get to know, is for relationship. And also for us to see. Yes. We cannot convert what we cannot see. So when we pray, just like as we read the Bible, is to see, to see God, to see Christ. When we are able to see, then we are able to convert. Um, the, the, the mistake, um, like the scripture you use, Psalm um, 127, uh, except the Lord build. Okay, so it has to be what you see God do. If it is not, then we fall into the but problem. But the problem we make with that scripture, I've had a lot of people using that scripture, unless the Lord builds the house. But they are saying God should come and do it physically. Yes. <laughs> they are not knowing that God, what, 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 he's talking about what God is doing in the spirit realm, in heaven. 